Boom. Yeah, so. <laughs> go. <laughs> Just laughing at you. Go. Jesus Christ. Look, my business partner, she is crazy, y'all. Um, so, which one of us is the crazy one? Is the question. <laughs> that, that is the question. Well, you are thinking about moving to Dallas, Texas, and you're trying to figure out why you should move here. What is there to like about Dallas? You're moving to a different place, and you don't understand. Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. We yeah. ain't recording so long, he forgot the intro. I'm just kidding, come on. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, man, moving to Dallas, definitely a game changer. We love it here. There's 10 things we are going to provide to you in this video about what you should, what you may like about this video. So I came up with five things. Brandy came up with five things that we love about Dallas, Texas. And listen, you have to stick around to the last one because that is going to be the most important one. So if you are interested in wanting to know what is there to like about living in Dallas, I know we do a lot of pros and cons videos, but in this video, we're just strictly going over the pros. No bad vibes today, no I promise. Positivity, positivity. Just positivity. <laughs> So if you want to know what, not just what we're thinking about, um, why we love it here, but why everybody is moving here, right? What is the hype about the Dallas-Fort Worth area? You got to stay tuned. You got to listen to what we're talking about. And it's not just about what we're saying. Like I said, it's about what people are saying about the DFW. So stay tuned. Don't want to miss it. We get into it right now. This is your boy Dre, and, and you know, we got Brandy here. Dang, he can't let me introduce myself. Oh my bad, you got it, you got it, you, you know? got it, you got it. It's the Making Moves team, you guys, and today we are bringing good vibes, good vibes, and positivity today. Normally we come at you with the the, the cons first, yeah. and we save the pros, but today it is strictly pros, and we're bringing only pros right at the beginning. Pro, 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 yeah. right? So if you like good vibes, and stick, stay tuned. And also, you definitely gotta hit that subscribe button um, and the bell icon next to it because we talk about what it's like living in Dallas on a weekly basis. Basis. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about moving to the area and you just want to get a little bit more information about Dallas, Texas, hit that subscribe button. And listen, if you're one of those people who have already made it up in your mind that Dallas is the place for me, but you just need to get someone, talk to someone to help get you into a house or, or a condo. Or guide you to or, areas. Yeah, guide a lot you of people to areas, reach out to yeah. us about guiding to which areas because the DFW is huge. It's so, so huge. So reach out to us. Give Email, us call, text, call, call Zoom. text. Whatever, Whatever you gotta do, <laughs> listen, we got y'all. We just wanna help y'all make that right decision when mm -hmm. moving to Dallas. But we're not gonna hold y'all up too long. We about to we're get, get straight right into it. it. That's yep. right. Okay, so, so we decided- So how are we gonna do this? Is well, it gonna be tit for tat or you do uh, your five or I do my five? I or? think we just need to do whatever we do. Okay, okay. So you we'll do your five and then okay. I do my five. Why well, I gotta be first? Because you're first. You're okay. number one, numero uno. Okay. You're the I'm man. number one. There you go, you're the man. Appreciate you. Anyways, so the reason why I love Dallas it's because the big city feel. Uh, Dallas is a huge city. Don't ask me like how many people we got, but I just know it's big. It got a really nice skyline. Um, and I'm from a small town in, in Virginia. I mean, it was popping, uh, the 757 for anybody that know. If you don't know, <laughs> look it up. But uh, it was popping there. You know, we had a lot of water, um, tolls, and all that good stuff. Stuff to do, but Dallas, um, is way bigger. We didn't have a fancy skyline. We didn't have those skyscraper buildings, those skyscraper apartment complex. It's just a whole vibe being here. So if you're somebody that want that big city feel, not like the New York or Los Angeles or Chicago, or Chicago. Uh, if you want somebody with that, if you want to live somewhere with that big city feel, Dallas is definitely an affordable option. Now living in downtown Dallas, definitely expensive, but you can also get that feel uh, living 20 minutes away from Dallas. So. Uh, 
and they still have that more suburb suburban feel 20 minutes away but i love that big city feel i love driving into the skyline um dallas skyline is very unique and um, they have the omni hotel in dallas that um it lights up like the building lights up um it, but it's not just the omni that lights yeah up. when you get to downtown dallas pretty much a yeah. lot of stuff down that way light up like beautifully all it, the builders are trimmed with like whatever color lights yes so and it is a beautiful skyline. The thing I love about it is like when we when they were doing the stuff for the Ukraine, like all the buildings were blue and yellow. Mm -hmm. um, when they have special messages, yeah. whatever the Olympics is going on, it'd be red, white, and blue. Yeah. Um, for whatever is going on, it's lit to go with that yes. occasion. And they have messages going across the building in support. If the Mavs are playing, if the yeah. Cowboys are playing, like so, they do have a lot of stuff that, that, is, that light up the sky. And I'm from a big city. I always say Chicago has. A beautiful skyline to me as well but dallas is probably one of yeah. my top skylines because it is beautiful when you're on a highway you can't help but just look at the lights it is beautiful yes so so it is a big city huge so number two on the list uh, for me is opportunities now like i said i'm from a small town in virginia portsmouth virginia and yeah it, you know they had normal jobs but everybody in virginia they worked at the shipyard honestly so you graduate college you're either working at the shipyard or walmart or someplace downtown but mm. the thing about dallas uh, is that we're it's comprised of a huge metroplex so a lot of the jobs are in dallas plano frisco fort worth um, urban we got a few uh, airports a lot of Amazon facilities so there's so many opportunities it's a if, lot of jobs a lot of jobs so if you get here and don't have a job it's because you don't want a job yeah. it's, just, it's jobs it's a lot of opportunities and they're, they're hiring for they're hiring people left and right you just got to be driven and motivated and present yourself well so it's at the end of the day if you uh, if you want a job it's for it's for you honestly but I'm not trying to get into cons I'm still a pro if you're watching our channel and you're thinking of moving here, I would say at least see if your job transfers. And if you're thinking about moving here, like he just said, opportunity is here. And since opportunity is here, guess what? Apply for those jobs before you move. Yes. And get that offer letter or acceptance before you make the decision to move. Trust me. It makes it easier. Trust me. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go a little, I don't want to go too too deep into that but listen you can't if you don't have a job here i'm just being real with you you can't get a house you can't get an apartment you can't get nothing you're just gonna be homeless like that's the truth he's so dramatic that's the truth he's so dramatic that's right? the truth it, it's not you're not necessarily gonna be homeless but it's gonna be very very difficult to do so if you're wanting to live in certain areas if you're wanting to have a certain lifestyle because we sell lifestyles and you're telling you about how amazing these places are you need a job to get those now you can you do need some a second damn job. You, can, you need a damn job you can do some second chance houses you can live in a hood you can go some places and get apartments without having a job if you pay up your lease but are they going to be places that you want to live in the places that you want to live in that are nice that are amenities on board uh, master plan areas you need a job so the opportunity is here so go online where to work in Dallas where to work in Dallas Fort Worth um, find a job find a job because the opportunities are here there are so many corporate companies here so many companies moving here relocating here we got major plans he said Amazon he didn't even go into GM is here Miller Brewing is here um, um uline is here uh toyota factory is here tesla factory is like it's so many i might be lying about tesla factory i'm sorry but uh it's so many companies that are here and the big organizations are here so there are jobs here yes. so find a job okay so the third reason why i love dallas texas and you know some of to, to, to some people that live in big cities this may not be a big deal for you but someone that come from a small city is because i love the sports teams here now i love the reason i I love that they have sports teams here so in virginia we only had one sports team uh it was a a, a minor league baseball team but um we did have like the washington red skins skins nearby so um this that is my favorite team by default since it was the closest team um he right now make sure to plug it and he's yeah. talking about sports teams he hate the cowboys yeah i hate the cowgirls <laughs> I hate the cowgirls. And it's so crazy because here they got two facilities. They got the cowgirl stadium and then they got a practice facility 30 minutes away from there. So 
I hate it. But I have to talk about it because there might be some cowgirls friend watching this video. And, and if you if, are a cowgirls and, friend, and, and if you are a cowboy player, please don't pay him. Oh money. yeah, hey, we, we I like are if you're a cowboy, America's team. Yeah, now hey, I'm all in if you're a cowboy we are uh, player America's and you're looking to buy a house, team. or if you're 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 somebody that's trying to transfer and you're trying to see the area, uh, a professional football player. Look, I'm all in. You see how Blitz, happy I am? See how I, I want to work with you. <laughs> All right. So but I love team. it. So they got the Dallas Mavs, Texas Rangers, the Dallas Stars, the Dallas Cowgirls. Um, they also got some um, minor league. Um, they got uh, not lacrosse. What's the what's Did you the say game? The stars. The, no, yeah, the stars. Did you say the Dallas Stars. Yeah. So they got they got a lot of they got oh. They got FC Dallas soccer team, mm -hmm. and then they also got a lot of other minor league teams as well. So, and the girls, the big, the uh, oh okay. WNBA. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know there. I'm sorry. I, I love the WNBA, but <laughs> I don't. I don't watch it like that. I'm not discriminating. So hey, rude. don't. Hey, I'm sorry, y'all. It's okay. Okay, okay I'm, gonna okay I'm gonna just be we quiet. I'm gonna just be quiet. We just gonna roll into yep. the next pro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, my fourth pro of uh, Dallas is the vibe. So. In my opinion, Dallas has a lot of vibes. There's so many different cities and suburbs here that have different identities. So Dallas has its own identity. Uh, Fort Worth has its own identity. Uh, and then you got places like Frisco, Plano, Arlington. And anybody who's from the area, like you know, like when we talk about, oh, I'm going to Arlington, like you already know the vibes. Or I'm going to Plano, like, oh, you going here for that? You, you know what I'm saying? Like, or if you're going to the colony, like they got Grandscape, like there's always some kind of vibe. Uh, anywhere at any given time within within the Metroplex mm -hmm, definitely um, so my last one is going to be the westernized culture which is kind of ties into like the fourth one uh, but Fort Worth I really love the westernized culture um, after working in downtown Fort Worth like it's just a different feel so do you own cowboy boots I don't. I own a cowboy hat. So he don't like the vibe too much. He still ain't bought no cowboy Jesus. boots. Do y'all don't have, understand. Like cowboy you got a big boots. Buckle belt. Cowboy cowboy boots is very expensive here. Okay, it, it ain't cheap. Mm. It's like three hundred dollars. We'll give him a pass. Listen, but listen. When, once once I'm a millionaire, you know, I'll have my cowboy boots. You need to be a millionaire to afford some cowboy yep. boots. I'm Lord. frugal. I'm frugal, y'all. I'm frugal. Lord. Anyways, but I love the what cowboy culture. They got the um, stockyards. The, they got the mini mo they got molly um what's what is what is i'm not talking about the drug either <laughs> molly 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 the trolley so it's a trolley that goes downtown fort worth um a lot of the hotels in downtown fort worth they're dressed with the westernized theme so when you go in the lobby you're seeing like a lot of cow hides and horse yeah animal hive rugs and Animals hanging on the wall. Mm -hmm. Now, if you if you're one that cares for the environment, then I apologize. Uh, I do love beef, <laughs> dude. I'm gonna just be quiet. I'm gonna let you go. <laughs> we we apologize. We're not trying to offend anybody out there, vegans and anybody. We're not trying to offend. Okay. All right, I'm gonna uh, let you go. So my type thing and don't forget you know these are these are not just the things that we're saying these are a lot of the top um 10 reasons that people move to the dfw area in general um so check out those things and keep subscribing oh, like we oh said. i'm sorry what? i missed something so the food you know you that cowboy that westernized culture no food goes with the westernized oh, okay culture. it goes with, like barbecue yeah barbecue mm -hmm. oh my gosh mm. if you ever in texas you come here definitely gotta try a baked potato it's a loaded class. one. The a loaded, loaded ones one. with yeah. all the stuff on yeah. it. Yeah, like a brisket potato. Yeah. Oh, my god. So gosh. good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad this was his list, right? Because my list is completely different because a lot of stuff that he said ain't really a pro on my list. But that's okay, you know? So my pros um, and a lot of people. But again, it goes to our age gap and our differences. Me and Dre are like a yin and yang. You know what I mean? But we still vibe well. But anywho, for me, it's very family oriented. Like when I tell you it's family oriented, it's even communities that have like movie night for your families. Um, it's so many things to do. We have like the number one zoo in the U.S., not wow. just um, the state, but in the U.S. Fort Worth Zoo is the best zoo. 
Um, it's all kind of like water parks and amphitheaters and libraries have like read along day. And then you have like a movie night at the parks and skating rings. And it's just so family or parks and trails and things that the kids can do. And they do tailgating at kids middle school games, not just high school college games. So it's a very family oriented place and it's geared towards family with the kids and things like that. So that's one of the, my top list is family because I'm a family person. I'm a mom. And so um, that's important to me. And I'll just add on to that. Mm. One of the, because I had the option of moving to Dallas or, or Houston. Mm. So a lot of the reasons uh, for me, and I'm downplaying Houston, but Houston's more like a party city and yeah. Dallas is more like family oriented. So yep. if you're trying to figure out if Dallas or Houston is the one of the areas for you, because we're going to start a channel in Houston anyway. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, just to put that out there, that's just kind of the vibes of like why, why I chose Dallas. Yeah, right? it is a very family vibe. If you're wanting to raise your kids, um, have some place where even you and your spouse to go day night, it's very, very family oriented. It's not really a place where, not saying singles, we're not trying to offend the singles and the young hipsters and the, you know, oh, that God, either hipsters. because those are good. But um, it, it is a family oriented place to me. Um, next to me uh, is money and success. When I first got here, Everywhere I looked, it was Bentleys and um, I, like everywhere. I, I teased people, my people was driving Bentleys like they was chargers. And um, the success, so many people with all of these corporate jobs, people are doing well, living well, and you can feel it. It's an aura of, and, and, and not to say poverty or middle class or lower class isn't everywhere, but to me, I just felt it was so many middle upper class areas that you belonged in. And that was one of the things that really enticed me um, because it was opportunity for so much success and it felt like money. And when you feel like money, you, you, you perform better. When you feel like success, you become successful. When you surround yourself with that type of vibe and aura, it, it tends to make you want to perform and do better as well. So that was one. And then the lights, I'm, I'll float that right into the lifestyle for the cost. So that's one of the other things. You can live a good life, you know, for a, a, not a small amount, for a decent amount. So don't mistake me. Texas isn't as cheap as it used to be. But you can get a nice house for two, three hundred thousand dollars $300,000. Now it's more like three, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000. But you can still live in good communities, good suburbs, and good school districts. You know, drive a decent car and still live a great life um, for a, a decent price. And that was something that also attracted me. Because again, I'm from Chicago up, up north. And 200000 wasn't getting you nothing good mm -hmm. in Chicago. Mm -hmm. So we're here. You can get a $300,000, $400,000 house. And it looks like a million dollar home in a nice million dollar neighborhood. You know, so the lifestyle is really what was uh, attractive to me. And then cleanliness. Oh my God, if you pull into the state of Texas, Texas is clean. I don't know if nobody else is going to agree with me, but Texas is clean. The highways are clean. The sides of the roads are clean. Even if you go into our downtown area, uh, both downtowns, Dallas and Fort Worth downtowns, because they're two separate areas. If you go to those areas, even where like the... Um, the homeless is still clean. Like, I'm not kidding. I don't know what they're doing. But they do have a Don't Mess With Texas initiative that they, they started years ago. But it's a really clean. Don't mess with Texas? What's yeah, it's Don't Mess. Like, it's like, oh, everybody think it's mess. like, um, we tough. But it's like mess, M-E-S. -S. It's like clean up after you. Like, you get litter and loitering tickets. You get all kind of tickets. So, they keep the area clean. It's a clean place. Um, and then... I don't know why this was on Dre Tops and my up higher, but the last thing is the obvious, the weather. The weather here is beautiful. Now, I was gonna say it's been hot. Whew. But to some that's here. to some that is nice. To some, but some when their high is 70, we're our high is a hundred and it's always sunny. It's very rarely raining it's very rarely snowing it's always sunny it's always a day to go hang out with your family uh, you you are right about that how yeah. seen rain in some time like we don't I mean, seriously it's not a rainy day it's not a dreary city it's always shiny bright we very rarely have overcast and uh we very rarely have like cloud like it's always yeah, you're right. sunny you're like right about swear that. it's literally always sunny so the weather sometimes it's too damn 
damn hot, but it's still always yeah. sunny. So that is something that you'll love. Even in December, oh, like, yeah. I haven't owned a coat in 13 years. Oh, you tripping. You own a coat? Sometimes, yeah. You own a coat, like a yeah. coat coat. Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't know. I don't well, know. just for like vacations and stuff. Right, but, but for here, yeah. How often do you put on your coat? Maybe here? like ten times a year. I say I put on a coat maybe three times, like a coat coat, not a cute for fashion coat, like a coat that you zip up scarf coat. Oh yeah, 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 yeah twice. Yeah, yeah. And well, you're from Chicago, so coats are different. Yes, yeah, so twice. <laughs> and, you know, so the weather is bomb. It could be April, it's 80 degrees, 90 degrees. It could be December, 70 degrees. So the weather, if not anything, is where, especially in the DFW area, in Houston is even better. They don't get no snow. We get snow a little bit, it's melted the next day, but it ain't cold. So I love it. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. She boring me. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I think, is that it? That was it. So this is why we love it here. And clearly we're not the ones missing the mark because everybody is moving here. Everybody moving here for a reason. Yep. You know what I mean? It ain't for no reason. It ain't for no reason. Everybody moving here for a reason. And I'm sure the reason they're moving here and I'm sure the reason why you're watching this video is because some of the things that we said is top on your list as well. So if you are thinking about moving to Dallas, mm -hmm. definitely got to make sure you watch these videos above mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. get more information of what it's like living here. We'll catch you guys on the next one. And Peace. if you want to add to our comments he always ready to give say bye but if y'all want to add to our comments for reasons that you think you would love here or you live here and it was some things that we didn't mention that we missed the mark on comment tell us because we want to see we want to see what y'all think all right all right now you can end it deuces bye one